Hi everyone, this is Erin from Sandpaper Road, and today I wanted to show you some different projects that you can make in one sitting using one of the scrapbooking and card making kits that we put together in a previous video. And I will link to that video in the description box, but in one sitting, if you pick your papers right and your supplies right, you can end up making at least four 12 by 12 scrapbook pages and at least six cards in one sitting. It's a really fast and easy way to not only use what you already have in your stash, but also to just get more done in a smaller amount of time. It's perfect for crops or for if you have a small space to work with because you don't have to constantly keep lugging out all your embellishments. You can have a certain embellishment time after your main projects, the main base pages are done. So today's video is going to be a little bit different because it's a little bit more like a show and tell and not a process video. These are the six cards and the 12 by 12 scrapbook pages that I ended up making myself. It actually ended up to be two sittings because I finished them. I went back and did embellishments and things like that. And I ended up with so much extra that I went and made an extra 12 by 12 scrapbook page. Today I'm going to be playing with stamps that I got uh, with issue 51 of Creative Stamping Magazine. And this magazine is great because every issue comes with a full stamp set and I love it. This particular issue comes with um, not only these vintage springtime stamps but also specific uh, stamps designed by Beverly Tonks. Um, called Be Crafty. It's cute. And these are the stamps that came with it. And I'm not sure that you're able to still pick up this issue at your Joann's or your Michael's or wherever you buy your crafts, but I will link in the description box below to where you can go online and pick this magazine up if you want it. I found that the magazine had a lot of great ideas. I was inspired by a lot of them, but I did not uh, as scrapbookers used to call them, scrap lift any of them, scrap lift any of them. I was inspired though by the, let's see, I marked them ahead of time. I was inspired by this idea of, um, let me lift this up so you can see closer. I thought that was neat. Now I don't generally make square cards, but I liked that idea of just something simple and you can see which stamp was used. I like the idea of stamping a background and also I like the four square idea and I thought, ooh, that would make a good scrapbook page because I do scrapbook in square. And then I also liked, what? oh, right. I liked, I was really inspired um, by the color palette of this. And so when I went to make my own kit for myself, I tried to choose, I, was, I really liked the way this peachy, corally color looked with the brown, and instantly I thought of a paper pack that I already had, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm totally gonna choose uh, papers with those colors and use up that, it's real springy and it really matched the, the stamps, I thought. So that's about how I used the magazine. Of course, I looked through every page and, uh, word and read everything you know how we do these are the six cards that I made with the stamp set I'll go like this so you can see and I chose the papers in the color palette I was telling you about I did use um, spectrum noir alcohol markers to color and I used a stitched rectangle die that I had already and I used a basic my, my basic cut was a triangle cut and I it was so economical and it made the pattern I loved using this was my off the chain pattern that I used um, this was my other off the chain pattern that I used and these were I actually used a see this it's like a dotted cardstock and it was kind of flimsy, but I used that as one of my colored cardstock pages. And I really thought this little, I guess it's technically a hedgehog. My son said to me, uh, what animal is that? Because 
I was trying to make it like a groundhog for Groundhog Day, which my other son said, uh, I think that might be like a porcupine. Hedgehog, I think, it, it's definitely not a groundhog is what I learned. And I totally put a hat on his head. This is from the Tim Holtz, um, I can't think of the name of it. It's from a Tim Holtz stamp set and it's got little hats and little things, embellishment stamps that you can put on animals. So I put a hat on him. And this, let's see, I used a, a uh, circle scallop die to cut that out and just some distress ink. And again, the Spectrum Noir markers to color. And let's see, did I show you all of them up close? Pretty much. Mm -hmm. There's a little wink of Stella on some of them. And again, you can check out close-ups on my blog. These are all A2 top, top folding cards, and I always leave them blank inside. Uh, this is some faux stitching. That was the other thing I guess I was going to mention. This is just some pen. It's just a metallic pen around the outside. And then some fun foam to mount them up. Was this little bow stamp on here? Oh, yep, it sure was. It sure was on there. Mm -hmm. I really like this. I really like this. Using that stamp set, it was fun. Uh, while I was stamping, I made sure to stamp the extra images that I thought I might use as embellishments for my scrapbook page. And so this was the first page that I made. Let me move the cards out of the way. Again, this I did all the stamping at once with my eight and a half by 11 uh, white cardstock that I had chosen as part of my kit. And see, you can see here's my cardstock. Here's my other off the chain. Okay. This right here, I don't know if you could see closely. If you look, see the frame? And then see the stitched rectangle die? So I just used the frame of the cutout, just lay it right on top of the page. Also, I'm not sure if you could see, I, I thought I was doing something cool and I realized I really wasn't. It, right here, see how I tried to do that? Um, I stamped it with Versamark and then did a clear embossing powder and heat set it. I thought, oh, that would look good. Well, it didn't show up as as nicely as I thought. It, I think it still looks nice, but I certainly didn't want to waste it. But it didn't come out quite as bold as I thought. So I thought, oh, well, I'll put it on the scrapbook page because that's a busy page anyway. And here's the uh, idea is not sure how I want to do my pictures yet, but um, this certainly fits three pictures this way or you know you could even fit uh let's see i always keep you're seeing the same pictures on hand all the time probably or it could go two pictures this way okay oops i realize you can't really see like that okay and that's the first page that i made and then the second page is a double page spread, actually. Mm -hmm. See, I started with, here's my off the chain, and two big triangles I cut, and some strips. Now, you know how this happened. Probably, I was probably trimming my page. And then all these, uh, I die cut right from, you can see, this was that paper that I stamped and, and embossed. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. It didn't come out as awesome. Look at the stitch right there. <laughs> I just now saw that. And just some beads. These were some old fabric corners that I have had forever. And I thought, oh, a couple might be nice. And um, the nice thing is that they slide right in there like that. Okay. See, so good for four by six uh, vertical photos right here. Again, not sure which photos I'm gonna use, but I can decide that later when I'm in my move with my photos. Okay, and that's my second and third pages. I did add stamped titles. Right here I call these titles. There's plenty of room for journaling if I want. And then I made this page and again this is 
These are butterfly stamps from the set. And this is my different plain paper and more of the triangles that you can see. I inked the edges. Oh, I should mention this white is just basic acrylic paint and a um, palette knife. I have it over there. The basic uh, matte acrylic paint. And again, nice uh, more of these fabric photo corners. I thought, oh, I've got to just use these up. I mean, they're literally from like the 1990s and I'm not even joking. I, I'm l literally not joking. And how many of you out there I, I would be interested in knowing which one of my subscribers, who who in of my subscribers has been scrapbooking the longest. I'm just very curious. Uh, I would be interested to know. And who's got stuff from um, the who's got the oldest craft supply? That would be fascinating. That would be fascinating. This is the other page I did. This is that stamp. And don't you know I didn't have a good paint color? So I used a gelato and I just put some on my craft mat and then did a, this was a shimmery gelato and I really liked it. And then these are enamel dots from Wendy Vecchi. These are hot glue flowers that I had made already and had them in my stash. And this was an embellishment little thing I already had in my stash. I really liked it. I like this page. And this one holds a 5x4. I wrote 5x4 photo and I had one here. And don't you know what I did is I cut out the edges like so, so I could slide in the photo when I was ready. Okay. I think I did that on my other one too. Yes, I sure did do that on my other one. See, if you just cut it with an X-Acto knife, then, then you can have that choice later. You don't have to decide right now. Okay, or you could put, I mean, you could certainly put more photos over here or journaling or whatever. And then I still had, the funny thing is at the end of all that, at the end of those pages and those cards, I still had two big, big uh, triangles of this greenish paper. So I found another piece of paper that I had jelly plated a while back with these yellow butterflies. And um, I made it into a scrapbook page. And I cut those big triangles into um, into four smaller triangles. Did I do it into four? Yeah, I had to have. And then um, made them into, so this will fit a four by four picture of each, like that. This was the one that was inspired by the magazine. And uh, that's it. This, these were flowers for my stash. This is, um, this is the greatest, uh, Sparks Paint by Prima Marketing. Boy, do I love that. Yeah, it's called this is called Butterfly Spells. It's really, really great. I love it. Look at the shimmer on that. And I used it around the, uh, just around the page, but also as like paint spatter on the flowers and stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't that yummy? That is great. These flowers, I can't, I think they were just basic just basic scrapbooky flowers that you can get anywhere but I have like a thousand of them and that's it so I hope you've enjoyed this this was just kind of a show and tell today of all of the things that I made with my uh, sandpaper road formula of making um, uh, choosing a scrapbooking and card making kit I made all these pages and all these cards in one sitting with one stamp set and just a few pieces of paper. I will link to the uh, related videos below in the description box and you can visit sandpaperroad.com for close-ups on my blog. Um, visit Sandpaper Road on Facebook and Pinterest and Instagram and um, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.